What is going on you guys? My name is Gibbs Grey here, back again for another Top 5 Tuesday edition. In this edition of Top 5 Tuesday, you guys will be going through my Top 5 favourite Dragon-type Pokemon. And as always, you guys, in this list of Dragon-type Pokemon, my this is my personal favourite um, Top 5 Dragon-type Pokemon, meaning that you are free to leave your own Top 5 Dragon-type Pokemon in the comment section below. And the Pokemon on this list are not there just for just stats or just design, but a combination of things that bring them each to their own. And as always, you guys, I choose not to include legendaries in this list just because I plan to do a legendary episode at the end of the series along with a couple of bonuses in between. But guys, just before I start this edition of Top 5 Tuesdays, you may have noticed that the um, front on the um, thumbnail or picture on screen right now is used to... is different from what it is usually that's because um the website i used to edit my vid videos crashed on me again i know it's a shame it's unfortunate so as always i have to rely on good old paint yep so i use paint to use the pictures and what have you apart from one pokemon you will see that you'll see the differences very clearly but anyway enough chit chat i mean let's get into my top five dragon type pokemon so in number 5 you guys we have High Dragon. High Dragon was one of the um dragon types available to you in the um in the black and white games. High Dragon is it has a lot of potential but for me when I use it I feel like it can be exploited more. Um not exploited if that's the right word. Use more potentially than me. So I like it. It's a, it's one of my favorite dragon type pokemon but I feel like someone can use it better than I can. So my preferred moves that I like to run on it is Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, Drake Hill, Meteor, and Earth Power. Reason for this is because High Dragon is of course a special attacker, even though its pre-evolutions pre are more physical attackers, hence why they have ability hustle. Um, yeah. High Dragon is more of a flame ha has Flamethrower just for type diversity, has Dark Pulse and Draco Meteor because they're both stabbed. Draco Meteor is a very powerful move, and then Earth Power is there for type coverage. It also has a Life Orb. Just as so it can deal more damage, it has, of course, it has to have the ability to levitate, and it is a timid nature. So there we are, you guys. High Dragon is number five this week. In number four, we have the classic dragon, Dragonite. Dragonite is was the first dragon type Pokemon introduced into Pokemon, and it is nonetheless favorite of other people. But honestly, I think there are some better dragons out there that deserve to be more loved than Dragonite. I mean, it's st it still made it in the top five list. <coughs> Excuse me. It's still made it in the top five list, nonetheless. But yeah, it is honestly amazing, you guys. It is dragon flying. It's jolly nature. Has the ability multi scale because who wants an inner focus dragonite? It has leftovers and it runs dragonite, dragon claw, earthquake, dragon dance, and waterfall. Dragon claw is there just because it's stab. It's physical. It's better. Earthquake is there, hundred percent power, hundred percent accuracy. Dragon dance is um so you can set up your speed and attack by one stage. And then Waterfall is there just for type coverage. But yeah, you guys, Dragonite is number three. In number, th in number four, sorry, god damn it, I've ruined the video already. In number three, you guys, we have the Pokemon that is obviously before uh, announced in a ground type is um, Flygon. Flygon is number three this week. It ha is ground dragon type in, and this is a Pokemon that I am um, is different as you can see there I use the um edit website uh, to edit it there but obviously that was in the previous previous um, video that I did on Flygon is a jolly nature has the ability has the ability to levitate because you know it levitates on the ground has a life orb as well so it's kinda like it's kinda like High Dragon um it has the moves that Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Rock Slide and Boost. Earthquake and Dragon Claw are both stabbed. Rock Slide is there for tag coverage and it has a chance to flinch and boost is just there just to heal up your Pokemon's health. But yeah, Flygon is number three this week. In number two, we have one. We have my mascot Garchomp. Well, um, the evolution of my mascot Gibble, it being Garchomp. Garchomp is a Dragon Ground typing as well as Flygon. Has an adamant nature which ups attack with a low special attack. Has the ability Rough Skin which um, damages the um, attacker on contact. And it, of course, it has to hold the Garchomp. I I love Mega Garchomp so much. Uh, it has a moveset, Dragon Claw, Iron Head, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. Dragon Claw and I Earthquake are both stabbed. Iron Head goes, um, Iron Head has a chance to flinch as well as Rock Slide. And they're both ty different types, so yeah. Tight diversity right there, you guys. But yeah. Garchomp, I love you so much, but you were just not cut off for number one. Because in number one this week, you guys, we also have the other 5th um, Gen Dragon that drip. 5th Gen Dragon, Jesus. That was in introduced in black and white, being Haxorus. Haxorus 
was my favourite dragon type in this generation. I loved my adamant that I ran in um, adamant Haxorus that I ran in black and white when I first got the game. I loved it so much. Has the ability rivalry, which does more damage to Pokemon of the same gender, and it's holding a life orb as well, just so it can do more damage. Knows Dragon Claw, Outrage, Earthquake, and Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance, as I say, is there to set up. Dragon Claw and Earthquake are both stab, both reliable moves. And then Outrage is there just because if you've taken out a fairy type in with Earthquake or something, you can easily outrage the rest of your opponents, bringing them all down. So yeah, Haxorus is number one this week. I want to thank you guys so much for watching um, my Dragon type um, episode as well as all my other episodes if you haven't watched them already. In next week's edition of Top 5 Tuesdays, you guys, we'll be, we'll be going over my favourite Top 5 Steel type Pokemon. This series is really coming to a close very quickly. It's too close. Um, I don't know what we're doing for season two yet. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and, and coming out. If you did enjoy the episode of my favorite top five Dragon Type Pokemon and support it, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed to Ultra Tech for all the latest Ultra Tech content. And as always, you guys, feel free to leave your own top five Dragon Type Pokemon in the comment section below. And yeah, just give me some feedback on what you think of my videos. But you guys have been amazing. I think it'd be great. This is me, signing off.